Hello and welcome back to Man of the Ants plays the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Why can't I move? Because I still had that locked in. Okay, so last time we had a look at these little things here after we followed the astronaut, if you recall that little weirdness. We went into space briefly and we went and got sucked up into an alien ship. All very weird. Ah, there is a run button, is there? I forgot that last time. So, what on earth is going on? We have a little um, station over here. And we have a train line just here. We came from over in that direction originally. So let's take a look around. We'll go to the right over here and see what's around here then, I guess. Anything up here? No, not that I can see. There's some sort of building just over there. There's a cave there. Look, we'll go look at that cave in a moment. We'll check out this building first. Just like a railway station watchtower or something like that, is it? No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Mm. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Let's go check out this creepy looking cave then. I did change the... What am I trying to say? The Oculus Mirror Output. I did set it to force it to look at the left eye, which is where the text tends to appear in this game. So hopefully... Was it not a cave or is it... No, it's not, is it? It's just some, some dark rocks. Hopefully that means that the text will be more legible to you at home now. Or at work, or wherever you happen to be watching this, I guess. Doesn't mean it's going to necessarily be any easier for me to read. It'll still be sort of focusing on one eye rather than the pair of them, rather than floating in the distance a little bit. But it should help you, so you can read it yourselves then, rather than having to listen to my inane warblings. I'm still going to do that. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to read it all out for you. Because that's what I do. It's how I roll. None of these open? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. Let's follow this train track then. Whilst it's a little quiet, I'll just go through the parish notice as I'm referring to it. On the 28th of July, I'll be moving house. So the week before or the week after, there'll be a reduced video output. So I think that'll be coming shortly after this video is out. I think this is out towards the end of the coming week. So shortly after this video, the number of videos will drop down from two a day to one a day at most. Depending on how many I get pre-recorded, there may be a few less than that here and there. So just bear in mind that the videos are going to be coming out a little slower. So if there's one series you watch, then there will be a few more days in between the episodes. But that gives you a chance to go and check out one of the other series on the channel. So, you know, do that instead. Spread your wings and fly. I don't even know what that means. I'm sorry. Sorry for even saying it. As part of moving, I'll be getting a dedicated room to do my recording in, rather than being crammed into the corner of a front room. Which is a little less than ideal. And as part of that, I am considering starting off a streaming schedule as well. So I'll be doing streaming, the thinking is, maybe sort of Wednesdays and Sundays, something like that. And what I'm thinking is I'll be doing the monitor-based games like Planet Coaster, um... Maybe some Everspace, because that works quite well in a monitor. Probably better than in VR, so I've heard. Um, maybe an RPG like Planescape. I've not come across... or not Planescape, sorry, Torment. Tides of Numenera. I've not played that yet, although I've had it in my library for a while. So something like that. Streaming those sorts of games. So if you have any preferences as to whether you think I should do streaming or not, then let me know. If you have any games preferences, is there something that you in particular like to see me play? Again, let me know. And most importantly, if you, if you have a preference for a streaming platform, whether that's YouTube or Twitch. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? 
That's awesome. That is really awesome. Yes, if you have a streaming preference, platform preference, let me know. I'm considering, or I'm leaning towards YouTube at the moment, just because that's where my existing audience is. So my existing subscribers will already have notifications popping up when I start streaming, that sort of thing. And then it's easier if you're watching the stream and you are a new, new member of the colony, it's easy for you to join up and subscribe from YouTube directly rather than having to try and go from Twitch to a different channel or whatever. I'm not sure it's easy enough to link, but you know what I mean. I think it just makes a bit more sense. That's what I'm thinking. So let me know if you have any preference. Meanwhile, we will wander around relatively aimlessly and not find much so far. Okay, let's have a little look in this direction. So we should go across that bridge, shouldn't we, towards the little town there. I mean, the running is nice because it's obviously a lot faster, but it does feel... I don't think I ran at all last in the first episode. And it felt a lot more paced and a lot more genteel, didn't it? I kind of liked that, but now that I know the run's there, I can't just ignore it. I can't not run. That would be crazy. Like, look at the size of this bridge. If I had to walk across this bridge at that slow pace, I mean, as beautiful as it is, and it is... I really am enjoying the visuals in this game. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I've seen every version of people hurting each other, hurting themselves. And we blame it on compulsion, selfishness, madness. I suppose the idea is, if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. So far, all the text I've seen has been in the middle of both eyes, so it would make no difference to which I am recording. I even picked up the letter down where we started, which was the uh, Fangs story. And even that didn't didn't focus in one eye. So maybe that was maybe that was a fault of my game or something. Maybe that bugged out slightly. I don't think it's been patched in the last few days since I did the first episode. So who knows? Who knows? Not a very American looking area really, is it? All those buildings look very European, I'd have thought. Oh, music's changing, something's happening. That's the telltale sign. That's how you know. I guess we should go check out one of these houses, shouldn't we? Let's go up to this one first, this beauty up here. Because I am recording in the Oculus Mirror, if the frame rate does drop quite significantly, if it drops down below 45 frames per second, you might see a little bit of red flicker in the game. That's a fault with the Oculus Mirror application because it wasn't really designed for this sort of thing. It was designed originally just for a, sort of a developer's console, but the recent updates to it have made it much more useful for recording, which is why I'm using it. So I apologize if you apologies apologize if you do see any of that red flicker. I have had a message from a developer who claimed to be part of the Mirror development team, who said he would try and get that patched at some point soon. There hasn't been a patch for Oculus. I am part of the public development channel as well, the public test channel. I haven't seen a patch for Oculus since then, so I'm hoping that there'll be a patch relatively soon and we'll be able to resolve this little issue. Because I don't think it's had any effect in the Vanishing of Ethan Carter so far, but in Everspace and the Solace Project it had issues, particularly in Everspace. So what do we have here? I invoke the Boneless One, the One of the Voids, destroyer of ships and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me. Great Minister Fokalor? Fokalor, great minister Fokalor, I wish to make a part pact with you to confront my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Aglon, Tetragram, Vaition, Stimulamas... Uh, st hang on. Stimulamatio? Stimulant star. Stimu Lamaton. Stimu Lamaton Esfaris. Tetragrammaton. 
Diarum, Irion. I'm going to stop reading that because um, that's all kinds of. I'm assuming Latin, which I don't understand. Oh, hello. Hello. Is that because I spoke those words out loud? Let's see if we can pop upstairs before we go through that creepy ass doorway. There's also a creepy ass doorway up here. Yay! Oh, imagine if this is your house. Look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, well, um, creepy ass doorway it is. Hello? Oh, okay. Same with this one. I don't really know what's happening. I do not really know what's happening. Ah, so I've just swapped into a nearby building. So I'm guessing these doorways then swap between various different buildings in the area. Okay. Let's finish checking out this house first. You know, I don't know which one's which. Is this? That's this one. So I don't want to go in there, do I? So I am here at the moment. It definitely is that one. It's got an interesting looking table in. Let's go here. Oh. Oh, so that's kind of... Oh, I don't understand at all. That's uh, That's opened up the other half of this... Loft area. We're still in the same building. Very hard to tell from here, isn't it? Oh, I opened up this one because of the desk that was there. I thought there might be something interesting there, but apparently not. This one, um, this one. I really don't understand what's happening. I have no idea, no clue. Are we, we're just kind of locked in this house, aren't we? That's what's going on. We are locked in this building. So I suppose we need to figure out a way of, ah, doing that. Okay. So if we read that again. Yeah, does that again. Let's have another pop around. Just leave them all on default, what happens. Let's just keep going through the first one that we see. Can't quite tell where we are again. No, we don't want that. That's back to the beginning. Oh, but I can't swap it. Okay. Well, that's that then. Don't really know what's going on, but that, that's what happens. That's what that does. And there's nothing up here, was there, I'm guessing? No. Alright, let's wander around here then. 
So let's not follow the road. Or should we follow the road? Should we not follow the road? I don't really know. Where does this go? Well, there's this thing here. Take a look at this. A lift? Is that an old lift? Yes. That's how we get down to the other part of the town. Obviously not quite at the moment. Nothing else around there that I can see. We can't just go down there, can we? That was at the edge of the cliff, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. Okay. Always, pay, always pays to be sure. Always pays to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. We can't go up there. Oh, we can. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to work. Pile of bricks. Ah, that's very familiar, isn't it? Been in there. Been in there. Recognize this. Not sure that I ever went there. You need to talk to your son. Oh my god. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. Said he found some secret room. Hmm. Yeah, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. A secret room. A secret room. Where would there be a secret room? What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. Not so happy with that little line of dialogue. You can feel it, right? Something, uh, something coming from the Vandegrift house. Oh, I don't do freaky well. I don't do freaky well. Pop, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. Uh, this is a bit familiar, isn't it? Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. Creepy. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. Nope. You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. Oh. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. Oh, so this is the attic we were already in, weren't we? Yeah. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. What did happen, Ethan? What did happen? Ethan's family blamed him. Whatever it was he'd accidentally let loose, his family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems would soothe their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere. In the wind. So there's a path that goes up there we could follow. It's gonna work? Nope. And there's also this path down here. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Take a quick look down here first. Hmm. It's all very quiet, isn't it? I'm freaking out a bit after a little talk about releasing something, the sleeper. I am freaking out a little bit. Can 
can't go down there. It won't let me walk around it, so let's go along here through this instead. I've stepped through too many portals, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, to bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? No. They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. You make it sound so depressing. This is going miles, isn't it? There's that path up behind the Vandegriff house we haven't done yet. Let's try and remember that's there. Might have to remember that for next time, unless that kind of joins up with it. It looks like it might join up with it if we go up there. Just a weird reflection. Oh, treat. Hmm. Oh, bit of a stutter. Hopefully they didn't cause any red flicker for you. Ah, hello. This is a nice creepy underground tunnel. Locked. So I think that's our aim, isn't it? That's our destination. So let's see if we can get around here. And head up here. See if there's anything there. I think it's definitely going to join up behind the back of the Vandegriff house, isn't it? So it just depends on whether there's anything up here. Or if it's just a bit of a, a red herring. What do the dead have to say? I don't know. I'm surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk downstairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. There's a clear in there for us to check out later. Where are we? This isn't the not the Vandegriff house, is it? No. I've got myself all kinds of lost now. Looks like a church. Does this lead down to the Vandegriff house? There is so much to explore in this game, isn't there? Right, yes, that's the Vandegriff house, isn't it? Okay, so let's go check out this creepy church. Which was up there. And then we should probably have to call that there for today. Hmm, music changed. Don't like it when the music changes. It's freaky. It means freaky things are afoot. Are there any scary parts in Ethan Carter? In the vanishing of Ethan Carter? That's the real question. Oh, hello. A stone crow of some form. With blood on its beak. So it was used to attack someone with? Or because... It came to life and attacked someone itself. That's the question, isn't it? Or well, does it belong on some statue? And we need to replace it like we did do with the rock and the train carriage.
signs of a struggle. Several different footprints. No blood trail, though. Victim killed or wounded. Bloodstain. Okay. These are all locked up still, apart from this one here. Which is in the process of being bricked up. Wing of a crow, Ganyan crow's foot, near across witch's foot. Broken cross, sacrifice to Klepoth. Sigil. Sigil, which was a sacrifice to Klepoth. Oh, God. Oh, that can go sod itself for the moment. Let's go check out the inside of the church. Oh, hello. Burnt matches, an oil can. Some spilled oil and a round stain where they had an oil lamp that they filled up and lit. Ready to go into the, um... Crypt. So the oil lamp is inside the church next to the tower stairs. Yeah, next to there. So it'll be over here, won't it? Looks a lot nicer and creepy. Non blue tone from the teleportation thing. Oh my god, then it gets so dark I can't see a thing. How do we get into that tower? Or is it that way? It's that way. Okay. Music stopped. Freaking out. There is the oil lamp. Bit broken. So somebody was up here. And we can't get up there. How often does this game save? I've not seen a save an icon come up that I can recall. I don't remember one from last time either. That's the oil lamp back in its original location. That's caused this to pop up or was that already ready to go? We just didn't look at it. Mortar trowel and a pile of bricks. Work was dropped or interrupted. It's a wheelbarrow. Yes, yes it is. And they were trying to seal up this... Oh, God. Why did I look at that? Oh, they were trying to seal up the Vandergriff tomb. So let's take a very quick look inside. Where it is absolutely pitch black and there is a raven missing. Handle, handle. Crow, crow. Put the crow back. And then pull the handle. Oh. Well, that's cool. Anyway. I was going to leave it there, but... Maybe not. Cause of death. Chest wound. Post-mortem, no blood. Facial cut, which is shallow with minimal bleeding. Back wound, maybe? There are blood streaks. Single attacker or multiple? Who knows? Let's touch him. Something freaky gonna happen here. Well, I can see. What's the purpose of that, I wonder? Okay, let's inspect the, uh... The weapon. Crow's blade. Nice. Have a touch now, does anything happen? 
Oh no, we just need to touch more things, that's what it is, isn't it? We touch more things until we uh, transport to a different time or something. Okay, what happens when we pull that again? Very little. Okay, let's get out of the creepy tomb. And into the slightly less creepy day. Excellent. Alright then, well, a little bit uncovered there then. We know it's something to do with the Vandergriffs, obviously. Somebody was trying to seal up their tomb and then was then murdered for the... Privilege? No. I don't know. They were murdered, anyway. Ethan Carter opened something, a secret room somewhere, which then unleashed someone, possibly Klepoth. And there is a sigil to his all greatness just over there. There is, oh my god, a lot of bird, oh it's bird blood, crow carcasses with a bucket and bird blood and cup with a knife, the dagger that we've got probably, question mark. Oh, let's put the dagger back. Okay, so that's that replaced as well. That was used to kill all the birds and then a man. Excellent, that's clearing it all up, isn't it? Clearing it all up. Well, I hope you're still enjoying the banishing of Ethan Carter. I'm very much enjoying it. I'm just very confused as to what on earth is going on. What on earth is going on? If you're enjoying the video or the series, please do click the like button. It is genuinely very appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the colony. Any comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I shall see you next time for more... Oof, VR weirdness in the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Thank you very much for joining me.